Hey guys, we're back with another video today. Um, so today is May 7th. The application opens up on May 11th, so here in a few days, and then submissions for the application start on June 1st. Well, I have a few weeks to go over the application and fill it out and make it as best as possible before I submit it in June. Watch for my videos in the next few days as I'm going to be filling out that application and videoing the whole thing. So please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell next to it so you can get notifications when I upload these videos and so you can see them as soon as possible. So some of you might have problems with your GPA, your grades might not be as high as you had hoped, or maybe the pandemic hurt your shadowing hours and you were not able to shadow as much as you wanted to. Well, where you can really make that up on your application is with the DAT. So the DAT is a standardized test that everybody that applies to dental school has to take. And the reason why it can be so helpful for you getting into school is because some schools might weigh things differently. Some classes may be harder than other classes. The DAT is a great way for schools to compare each applicant because you know they're all taking the same test the same year or the test is gonna be pretty similar year after year. So if you score high on the DAT, it really makes you look better, especially if other parts of your application are lacking. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is the resources that I used, how long I took to study, where I studied, what I felt was effective, and what I didn't feel was effective in studying for the DAT. If you have any questions throughout this video about things that I explain or things that I maybe don't cover, go ahead and comment below and I'll try to answer your questions. So the DAT has six parts to it. We have biology, general chemistry, organic chemistry, perceptual ability, reading comprehension, and math. The parts that I was really worried about on the DAT were math, because I haven't taken a math class since my junior year of high school. Biology, because there's just so much that biology covers in this test, and trust me, you'll see. And reading comprehension, because I'm not the fastest reader and it's kind of hard for me to internalize what I'm reading to answer questions. So just a quick disclaimer before I get started, I am not a part of that boot camp, nor am I getting paid by them. It's just a resource that I use to study for the DAT. Everything that I talk about are my honest opinions because I really have nothing to lose. So overall, I took 11 weeks to study for the DAT. There is a 10 week study guide, it's called Ari Study Guide, that breaks down every section and gives you a timetable of when you need to study those. It's different for everybody. Some need to go faster, some need to go slower, but it's great to base your study time off those 10 weeks and then adjust it as you go along. So for example, I had just barely finished organic chemistry, so I really didn't need to focus that much on organic chemistry, and I could use that time studying for biology or general chemistry instead. So starting with the first section, we got biology. So honestly, I was scared by this section. Biology has so much stuff that you need to cover. There's molecular biology, there's PD bio, there's biochemistry, there's anatomy, physiology, Honestly, the list goes on forever. There's no possible way that you can memorize everything that you need to for the DAT under the biology section, but that doesn't mean you can't prepare for it. There's an application you can use on your computer called Anki Cards, and I will drop these links below in the description. But what Anki Cards does is you input the card, it's basically a flash card, and it'll test you every few days. And depending on how well you know the card, it'll give you more days in between before you study that card again, or it'll bring the card up again in the next five minutes. And if you do it every day and stay caught up, it'll really help you memorize all the material, especially for biology. There's a huge book. It's about like 500 pages. It goes very far into depth. So sometimes it's kind of hard to read it just because there's so much information, but they made condensed notes. It bolds the really important words. And so what I ended up doing was going through each bolded word in that whole condensed notebook. And I put that bolded word into Anki cards, made a flashcard, and then wrote what that bolded word meant. So I did that for every single word in that entire book. Before taking the DAT, I had not taken an anatomy class or a physiology class, but I really felt that these notes prepared me and I was able to learn on my own exactly what I needed to know for physiology and for anatomy. I studied these biology cards every day, every single week. It's not a thing that you can just do for a month or a thing that you can do for a few weeks, but you just need to do it the whole time. Again, there's so much information on biology, so you really need to hammer at home. The next is general chemistry. General chemistry for me was pretty hard because I really didn't understand the ways that they were asking questions in that boot camp. I was literally getting 14s, 15s, even sometimes 13s on my practice test for general chemistry, really because I didn't understand how they were asking the questions. It really helped me when I went back and looked at the patterns of how they were asking questions. As soon as I understood how they were asking the questions and I just needed to change the data that was inside of those questions, really my score started improving immensely. Dad Bootcamp offers videos for general chemistry and these are Mike's videos. Mike is a super cheesy but funny guy and he teaches general chemistry exactly how you need to know it for the test. 
So you go over each video lecture and there's a notebook that goes along with it. And then there's questions for each lecture. So once you fill out those questions in the notebook, there's practice questions about that section that you did that are offered in the style of how the DAT would ask those questions. I again filled out Anki cards for the general things that I really didn't remember and I hammered those through how often they came in the Anki cards. Again, I was scoring consistently low in this section, but when I understood exactly how they were gonna ask the question, and I really just needed to know how they were gonna manipulate the data, my scores went into the 20s instantly. This isn't to say that it's gonna be the same for you, but these are things that helped me and that I hope will help you, especially as you're just about to start to study for the DAT. Next is organic chemistry. DAT Bootcamp makes a list of reactions that you need to memorize in order to take the DAT. It gives you the reactions, intermediates, and the products. Just like general chemistry, there are videos for you to watch. It gives you a notebook and there are practice questions too. And once you finish the sections, it gives you practice exam questions, kind of like they will show up on the DAT. Next, we have reading comprehension. My general rule for this is practice, practice, practice. There are different articles on DAT Bootcamp that they are constantly uploading that you can practice reading. You need to practice your speed, you need to practice retaining the information, and you also need to practice different techniques. There's a search and destroy technique where you just search for the information without reading the whole passage, and as you go question by question, you just search for the answer. As some questions in the reading comprehension talk about the tone and different things that you can't just search for in the reading itself, sometimes you may need to actually read or just be really good at guessing. There are other methods like reading the first paragraph and the last paragraph and then searching for the answers. Or like I did, I just read the whole passage and I highlighted things that I felt were important. But again, this is what best worked for me. There's gonna be a lot of trial and error, especially in this section. So make sure to give yourself time to study the reading comprehension. Next is math. I haven't taken a math class since my junior year of high school. I was super nervous for this because I didn't remember math that well. I knew the very basics of algebra and when I looked at the questions right off the bat, I literally had no idea how to do anything. That bootcamp prepares you for this and I promise you, I was so scared about this and I ended up doing just fine. So they had intro videos about each section for the math part. And before you even start any of the practice questions, what I did is I went and watched all of these videos. I took notes on them. Just like general chemistry, you have to look at the format in which they ask these questions. You'll notice that there's only a certain amount of ways that they can ask a question. So if you understand how to answer it, all you have to do is plug in the numbers and you'll know exactly what to do. After looking at these videos, I would just work, 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 work on practice questions. There are hundreds and hundreds of questions for you to practice. And if you get it wrong, they explain exactly what you need to do to get it right. By doing this and understanding what you did wrong, it really sets you up to be able to do it right in the future. They give you a calculator to use on the test and that bootcamp gives you the exact same calculator too. It's really janky and hard to use, so it prepares you well. Use that calculator and don't use your own because you need to know how to use that type of calculator. It's one that goes on the screen. I'll drop a picture of it right here. It's really hard to use, so get used to using it. Again, with these questions, just recognize what type of question it is, how it's asking that question, and you'll be just fine. If you don't know a question, skip it. Because you're on a time crunch, you really have to work fast. So do the questions that you know, and then go back to the questions that you don't know at the very end. You don't wanna waste all of your time on these hard questions and then end up missing points on the questions that you could have done, but you just really ran out of time. And last, number six, is perceptual ability. This one, if you just look at it without knowing how to do stuff, you're gonna be one million percent lost. That bootcamp offers videos about how you can actually answer it, going from just looking at it and all the different steps of each technique until you get to the answer. There's a few different sections within perceptual ability. There's keyholes, top front end, cube counting, angle ranking, hole punching, and folding. They offer generators, so it gives you new questions each time, and so you can practice this as much as you want. I did each section for 10 minutes a day, totaling an hour, and I really, really felt like it prepared me well for the DAT. How I studied for the DAT is I studied every day from Monday to Saturday, from about 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., taking, of course, breaks for lunch and different snacks. And I did this consistently for 11 weeks. And the reason I did 11 weeks is because RE schedule is 10 weeks long. And I went over for a week at the end, things that I didn't feel super confident about. That bootcamp offers 10 practice tests for you. And trust me, take all of them. You really need to be familiar with how the DAT looks. And by taking each practice exam, you'll really know exactly what to expect. After you take the test, just drop it for the rest of the day. Don't do anything, you're gonna get burnt out. Then the next day, go back and look at everything that you did on the test. Look at the things you did right, look at the things you did wrong. Enter them into Anki cards if you have to. 
but it really helps going over each test and seeing what you did wrong and memorizing the right way to do it. All in all, I'm very grateful for DAT Bootcamp and all the hard work that they put into this. It really helped me on the DAT and I did way better than I thought I was capable of doing. I aimed to shoot for a 20 overall and I exceeded that big time. I really recommend using this resource. It's very easy to use and they give you everything that you need to know. I hope this video helped you. Again, please comment below if you have questions and I'll try to answer them. I'm very excited to start filling out my application and I'm even more excited to video it so you guys can see exactly what it's like. Again, stay tuned and I'll be back next week.